Alright, welcome back to the High Shot Haven. It's me, John, to bring you more informative content. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about load securement. Hey, just a little technique known as the belly wrap. Alright, alright. This is a hydraulic ram. As you can see, I have it already set up with the tape measure so I can explain a little bit of this uh, low securement and strap placement. And you know, like I said, I did this, you know, at the, at the shipper, you know, straight off the dome. Ain't no, I ain't use a tape measure, but I want to put the tape measure down here, which I always say carry your tape measure, it's your friend, you know, that there are rules to strap placement and the amount of straps by weight, which most people think about, okay, it weighs 10,000 pounds, I got 3,000 pound straps, I put four on there. But what if it's 40 feet long? Mm, it's a little bit more in play there. So, let's take a look. I laid the tape measure right there, straight across, where you can see it. Okay, started out at the tip of the piece, came on back all the way to the rear tip of the piece. Now, as we can see, right at 15 feet. Okay, now DOT law or uh, rules say that you need a strap every 10 feet on your piece. And for safety, you need an extra strap, what some may call a penalty strap, in the first four feet. And also, you must add more straps as the weight increases um, to have the amount of strap needed to secure this item. Now, that all still holds true here, but what I want you to understand and to recognize is that this is basically a two-ton pipe it's sitting on dunnage it's strapped down but this is essentially a two-ton missile with no bomb on it but it's a missile and what i want you to notice about everything is if this two-ton hydraulic ram breaks free I want you to see exactly where it's going now. Going straight up in the front of that truck. It's going in the cab. It's going in the back of that cab. Okay. So, I want to explain to you the relevance of what's known as a belly wrap. Okay. I want you to take a look at that strap. That strap is not cut. It just has wear marks on it. It's a good strap. Okay. All right. First and foremost, you'll notice that that strap is wrapping the piece. And the, the, the logic behind this is that if you wrap this like this and, and anything starts to move forward or shift or do anything like that, that wrap would effectively start to squeeze on that piece of pipe. It is it's tightening itself around it like a lasso at the same time and putting the brakes on it, you hope. Um, just notice that the amount of coverage or amount of strap that is touching that uh, on that first strap and also the last strap, which I'll show you later, is way, way, way more coverage than the second strap. If you look at the second strap, the second strap only contacts about 25% of that one pipe. So that's not really holding that pipe from going forward. It's squeezing it to the deck and it probably won't move, but just having straps over the pipe, yeah, it, it may be sufficient for the weight, but the forward inertia would be a problem. Okay, that rear, the rear strap, if you can tell, it's, uh, it's strapped from the opposite side of the trailer. I do that to counteract the forces of squeezing it because it wants to pull that pipe in another direction. Um, and on the front one, we look at it, like I say, first four feet that second strap it just so happened to be four feet i did not do that 
That last strap on the back, 14 feet, just so happened to be 10 feet on the head. Now, I, I didn't move anything. That's just how it ended up being. Y'all fault me for that. But like I said, when you look at this type of load, you want to keep driver safety, public safety in mind, and always be concerned about this stuff going forward. In the event that this thing goes forward, more than likely somebody's going to lose their life, and it could be you. So I hope this video has been helpful, insightful on the belly wrap. Peace.